Hello. <laughs> Hello. It is quarter to three in the morning and I am pretty much feeling it. It's quarter to three and I'm not okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I am okay with? Mm. Disneyland Paris. Yeah, we're going to Disneyland Paris. <laughs> um, I mean, the title of the video tells you we're going to Disneyland Paris. Bit of a giveaway. Um, there's a lot of erms. It's quarter to three in the morning. Mm. We are going for the weekend tonight from 9pm till... 2am something like that yeah there is an annual pass party so if you have an infinity pass or the next one down the two top passes anyway then you can buy tickets to a pass holder party mm -hmm. they have parades and exclusive pins and, and for some reason we thought that flying at 6am is going to be a great way to do this so this is going to be a very long day <laughs> oh, yes. and i have not had much sleep and I've got a little bit of a cold. Not so. COVID. <laughs> not COVID. Multiple tests. Oh, testing every single day just like, to make sure because that is not. I'm, no. <laughs> don't want to go to France and get fined. Yeah. I'm, unlike uh, Marshawn Lynch, I'm not here to get fined. <laughs> I'm just uh, NFL reference there. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yes, we should go do this whole getting to the airport thing. Mm. Fingers crossed it is not like the last time that we went this early when mm -hmm. it was a disaster. Yeah, that same road is actually closed this time as well, so we're going a bit of a longer route. And then also we've got the joys of Manchester Airport, which is not going through its best moments, but cross the fingers to see if everything's okay. Let's get going. I've got everything crossed. All the fingers crossed. You can't see, but I've got my toes crossed. <laughs> Let's go to Paris. Let's go. It is so cold. It's half past three now. We're just going over to the terminal. We have already done on Air France. They've got similar to Virgin and BA, where you basically upload your documents. So um, we don't need to go and show somebody our documents. We can go straight to security, which is good. Because the last few weeks, Manchester Airport has not been doing great with security. We've had like six hour queues and things, so we're hoping because we're an early flight we're going to get in before some of the chaos, hopefully. And straight down in the lifts. Oh, I think we're only actually one floor down to departures. Let's play run around. Oh. How's the middle, sorry. That does not count. And from the lifts to departures, it's literally just across a little bridge. And you're there? There is, <laughs> Just popped into the bridge water for some uh, toast and tea, I think. Unfortunately, it isn't table service uh, at the moment, so Joe's wandered off to try and find where you order at the bar. We've been to the bridge wall before when we uh, went to America and it's good, it's quick and uh, the price isn't too bad actually. In terms of the menu you've got the, uh, the usual things you can expect for an airport breakfast um, and the drinks. It's not too bad. Like I said the prices aren't unreasonable for being in an airport. I mean it could be a lot worse. I'm sure it has been a lot worse in Terminal 1. If you want to know where the lounges are, not that we're actually going in one, on the uh, second floor with all the food places, head to the women's toilets, and the escape lounges down there. Of course, you could just follow the sign as well. We're just at the gate now. Security was 30 minutes, was it? Right um, so not too bad. Um, they have just announced though that you have to have a surgical mask, which we knew already, but they're no longer giving you them for free. They're telling you to go and buy them from the vending machines, so just make sure you have got a surgical mask, because even though we don't have to wear masks in the airport anymore, you do have to wear them on the Air France flight.
what was Max and Spencer's food and the bus sign. Down that corridor is where you get to the magic shop. So there's a few different ways that you can get from Charles de Gaulle to Disneyland Paris. We have done a video on it previously, so I will leave it linked up that way. Or that way, that way. Um, because, yeah, it's, it depends on how many people you've got and what time it is that you arrive, what the best way is to do it. Today we're doing the train and it's cost us... 60 pounds. 60 pounds. So I'm guessing 29-ish euros each. So I'm just gonna go over to get the train now. It's not actually that far a walk to get to the train station. So the other side of this glass partition is baggage reclaim for 2E. And then you basically walk all the way out, come round and then come back on yourself to walk down to the very end of the terminal. Departures is directly above. There you go, right the way to the end and then up the escalator to the, another corridor basically. Another big long corridor with travelators. This is actually also the same way that you go from most of the airport hotels. So there's the entrance to the Sheraton. We have stayed there before, which I will leave that playlist linked up above as well. So if you were getting the area into Paris and then the area back out again, because the airport's on line B, but the Disneyland Paris is on A, then it's platform 11 and 12. We are going via the TGV. Um, which we just book it on train line, the exact same app that you do in the UK. They charge, is it £2.50 booking fee? I don't think they do that anymore either. Oh, well, the, the last time I did it they did, but you've just done it and probably wasn't looking. Yeah. <laughs> but the queue for the tickets down actually at the station is huge. So that's the end of the queue down there, excuse the strobing lighting. And it goes all the way down there, it's huge. We're just on the train now. We don't usually bother coming finding the seats that we get assigned, but we were at this um, platform quite early for the train because it usually sits at Charles de Gaulle for about 10 15 minutes. So we thought we might as well come and find our seats for a change. Um, when you get in the TGV to Disneyland Paris, don't look for trains that are going to Paris because you're not going to Paris. The trains are always going to um, like Lyon, Nantes. Um, dodgy pronunciation though, sorry, don't Terrible speak French. <laughs> Didn't do French in school, so I've no concept of how to do it. Um, but yeah, basically the station you want is Man La Bay, Chessy. Again, Del Boy French though. The best Del Boy. <laughs> um, and you just need to make sure that you check the board because usually there are multiple trains joined together and they'll separate and you want to make sure that like the doors are going to open on the stop that you want and things so just check the board and it'll show you. Now it's like the whole 10 minutes until we get to Disneyland Paris so we'll be at Disneyland Paris before 10 a.m. I think which is pretty good. And there's the exit from the train station at Marne Le Bay and literally the entrance to Disneyland Paris is there. So we're gonna go in and drop our bags off now. Okay that was kind of chaotic it's just taken us an hour and 10 minutes to drop the bag off and usually it takes like 20, 20 minutes, minutes. <laughs> yeah. um, it's just people everywhere and it seems to me it's like the ticket gates people are struggling with so I don't know but we've dropped it off um, it's now quarter past 11 <laughs> so finally we can go and actually get the first look at the park with all its 30th decorations I'm very excited there may be tears what? <laughs> <laughs> that is so beautiful. I love that they're all spinning and it's kind of steampunky. I love that. Oh, that bandstand is everything. It's even got 30 spinning on the top. That's amazing. And the castle is not in a box. I mean, I'm quite far away from the castle, but you can see how pretty it looks against the sky. The golden turrets are so sparkly in the sun at the minute. It's awesome. So it's part of the 30th, Disney have installed these um, Gardens of Wonder, they're calling them. So this is the Baymax Hall. There's loads of different characters that are dotted all over the park. But it's so cool. I think I've said so cool about 50,000 times. And clearly I need a thesaurus, but they are cool. And then 
That one is from Pocahontas and I couldn't ever remember his name. Miko? Yes, Miko. So after walking down Main Street, um, made a bit of a purchase. It was a sizeable queue again. There's just so many people in the park today. I don't think I've ever seen it this busy. No. It's so weird, especially considering there's a reduced capacity, but oh well. Um, the wait times for rides aren't crazy, so we're going to go over to Pirates. Yeah. Pirates. We've just had a big discussion about whether we do Premier Access for Big Thunder first or do Pirates, but then we've settled on Pirates on a 20 minute wait, so that's where we're going to go next. Oh, and because I've just realised I forgot to say, the ears were 23 euros. The saddest little view there ever was. Small World's currently closed and I think it's about a year that it's going to end up being closed. They are removing asbestos from the roof apparently. So, yeah. But it sounds so quiet round here. And of course they closed it just after they fixed the fountain. In a shocking turn of events, Victoria's is open, so of course we've got to go to Victoria's. <laughs> So we just come out of Victoria's and I'm regretting that. <laughs> so, I'm not. So, so full of sugariness. Yeah, and I had a lot of milk for somebody with a cold. That's not great. <laughs> it's really not. Um, I realise that this looks like we've done nothing in the past because basically we, we haven't moved on Paris and the Caribbean. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but the plan was always to just come in for a couple of hours and then go to the hotel for when we can check in. So it's currently official time check, not sponsored by Accuris. Two o'clock. Two minutes past two. Yeah. We can check in to the hotel for three, so we're going to go up, get the bag, go down to the hotel, um, and then we'll show you around the hotel room, and then we're going to crash for a bit <laughs> before the Admiral Pass party tonight. Yeah, because there's no way we're going to make it until 2 a.m. at this stage. No. Been up since. 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, so no, need a, need a few hours. Yeah, need a little uh, power nap. Power nap, indeed. Right, well, first we're going to have a meet around the shops and then head out. Because... Why not? Well, I mean, every day is a pin day. <laughs> there's a parade currently on. I recommend coming into the shop to look at the 30th stuff when there's a parade on, because look at all this room for activities. There is nobody in here. What's occurring? because it's badged Disneyland Paris 30th, it says 30th above it, but that's not our castle. Do they only have one mould? It's so really random. These hats are pretty cool. 35 euros and apparently they light up. Don't know where, but it does. It says it lights up. Yeah, so it's like that. Oh yeah, you can see just in the centre there, the LED. Cool. Plush. I'm on a plush ban. These are 30 euros each. We've got Minnie. And then we've got Mickey. I really want them, but I'm on a plush ban. So, if it comes between pins and plush, pins win. So we are staying at the Adagio Pass Hotel. There's two of them. There's one that's called Val de Europe and one that's called Ceres. And we are in the Ceres one, which is technically closer to the park. And we're in the room, which means only one thing. Time for a room tour. So I'm doing this one. Door. <laughs> then next to it is a nice sized bathroom. And the light is on. Wow, it does not look it. <laughs> so it's a good sized mirror, sink, toilet, you know what that is. 
and uh, the shower looks okay. Oh, I was worried for a moment where the shower head was, <laughs> it's just there, and it comes with its usual freebie shower gel, which doesn't look too great. But there is, there is something else down there, we'll check that out in a bit. Drying rail, which is useful. No, we haven't tested the shower water pressure. Um, how can I do it without getting wet or getting in the shower? That's a question because the uh, the glass is in place. Um, yeah, I'm, got, I'm, I'm just going to end up getting wet here. A thousand rooms. So literally, we'll get into the bath. <laughs> what the? Oh, that's the plug. The bath is huge. Whoa! So, <laughs> let's. I love how it's over the handle. So, oh no, I am just going to get wet here. <laughs> the shower pressure is a solid okay. Don't switch that off because it's soaking everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Joe. Let me show you the cupboards. <laughs> so, some storage cupboards, extra pillow, a safe, a boiler. Boiler? <laughs> Usually that's locked off in rooms, but okay. Well, the safe's like actually pretty decent size. It's a big size it? safe. And then on the other side, two hangers, ironing board. Don't know where the iron is, but okay. It's Joe sized. Yep. There we go, let's just, uh, yep, and this is the main bedroom. What's up? What's up? <laughs> so, this is the main bedroom. So, a good side bed. A lack of bedside cabinets, which is going to be annoying. Um, there's an adjoining door for if you want to, to get a small desk, TV, and a little kitchenette, which seems to have all the essentials. So. Well, it's got a hot plate. It's actually got a hot plate and kettle, a fridge, freezer, dishwasher. Okay. A bin. A bin. But the console. And then, what is that? Is that a toaster? Is that a funky looking toaster? Sorry, I wasn't showing you that then. That looks like a funky toaster. And there's some glasses and cups, which is great. Ooh. A micro wave. <laughs> <laughs> and pans. pots and pans. And the mirrored doors. It's very weird. And it's then a giant ramekin. Yeah, a giant ramekin. Or what what we'd call a cooking dish or something like that. Giant ramekin. <laughs> giant ramekin. It does actually have as well an actual kettle, but also they've left stuff so that we can clean up. Yeah. I mean, okay, the room has its faults, but hey, it's not too bad. So we paid uh, 189 euros for two nights. Feels a bit expensive, but I think every surrounding hotel is uh, completely sold out for the annual pass party that is tonight. So I think we got a good deal. Yeah, I like it. It's yeah, there's bits of the room that are like it looks a little bit tired in parts. <laughs> um but I've sat on the bed and it was comfy. Yeah, it's not too bad. And it has it says it has aircon. I've not figured out how to get it on. I've managed to get the I fan can, on. I can see a vent. That's a start. Yeah, and I've got the fan bit on. Yeah. Um which we usually stay at the Ibis in yeah. Val, which is like literally next door to the area. But it doesn't have aircon. No. And it is so hot. And also the Radisson, which we don't recommend anyone to stay at anymore, but that also does not have aircon. So so I've never actually finished the vlogs of why we don't select the Radisson anymore, so yeah. I will just say it here. One night, on when we were staying at the Radisson on the Saturday night, in the early hours of the Sunday morning, the fire alarm... It was about alarm, two or three in the morning, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the fire alarm went off. Which isn't too bad. Yeah, it's annoying, so we were smoking in the room. It, you know, you yeah, can't control it's... people. Us and some other people followed the escape route to the 
emergency exits. We went down the stairs, and at the bottom of the stairs, the door was locked. Like Completely hard locked. locked. Yeah. So if there was actually no way from where we were on that fire, like following the fire escape on the stairwell. Mm -hmm. There was no way for us to go back. So if the fire had been above the, us, yeah. we had no escape, even though we'd followed the fire that like the, yeah. the emergency exit signs. I mean, we were angry, but there was a family with us with two young kids and they were freaking out. Yeah. And the hotel did not care. So not in we, slightest. we ended up going back up a flight of stairs, along and then out a different way. And when we went outside, we were at the back of the building. There were no like staff around. There was nobody directing people or anything. We actually just walked the outside of the building round to the front door and the staff were still at the front, there was nobody there. The alarm went off and everyone sort of just stood there going, what's going on? People started thinking the way back inside the building because there was no staff and no fire brigade appearing. Yeah. So um, when we went back in, one person came out from behind the reception desk, like in the office that they have, um, and we tried to say to them like, your fire escape was locked, locked and he was like well yeah it's the night like yeah <laughs> we lock them at night you, you can't lock a fire escape what but, um yeah so, so yeah so we so basically long story short we uh, will never stay at the radisson near disneyland paris again because we can't guarantee yeah. that we'd be able to get out if there was an emergency yeah so i know some people will go that's a minor thing and it's just a it's not really a problem of like, oh yeah, the door was locked, it was a mistake, it was more the management were very apathetic to us raising that complaint and just yeah. sort of went, eh, well, it was it was a false alarm anyway. And it's like, but what if it wasn't? It's not the point of it. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, it's, not, so. it's, it's not about... <laughs> no. But yeah, so basically, <sighs> we're trying out new hotels in Val because yeah. we need to find some new off-site options yeah. and so this is... So the first one we're trying. We've seen a few people try this one before, and uh, I think a lot of people generally stay at the one that's in Val de Europe because it is closer to stuff to the amenities. In, like, Even though it's like a five-minute walk. I mean, at like half past two tomorrow morning, when we're going to be walking back from the annual pass party, I don't yeah. want to walk past a hotel to go yeah, to another. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, I think it's I'm nap time. I'm running with a running down with a cold. I know this is probably the third time I've mentioned it now, but I'm not feeling great. I'm pseudo fed up and <laughs> I'm pseudo fed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, go I'm gonna have a kit for an hour and then. Yeah, it's it's nap time, so this is where we're gonna end yeah. this vlog. Uh, uh, it's randomness of a bit of travel day, a bit of thirtieth snacks. Oh, I'm gonna just have to. Oh, my arm's numb. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're gonna leave it here, and uh, the next one you'll see is uh, us go casual pass party. Two hours later. So had a snooze, feeling a lot better, and uh, got a shower, and then this happened. Oh dear. So um, yeah, we got water leaking. Essentially, I, I got ready, tried to uh, get a drink, and then water started pouring out the bottom of the unit. <laughs> so it's delayed us a little bit now. Um, we're supposed to be heading out towards the park. It's like it's half six. The party doesn't start till nine, but we were thinking of getting some food and then having a mooch around. Um, but now it looks like we're going to have some <laughs> minor room drama. I think. I think they said we can change room if there's one available, so... But we already know that the hotel was fully booked. Yeah, so, so this is probably not going to go well. I think it is just the sink, like, the little the little ditty sink um, is leaking, so we might just have to stop using that, but... We'll find out. <sighs> yeah. So, <laughs> room tour number two. <laughs> it's identical, pretty much. Just uh, flipped around. Just flipped around a bit, and also we've got an internal view this time. Um, staff were great. Helped us, like, told us to move. Well, not told us, but gave us <laughs> a new room. Yeah, they basically gave us the option. They were like, you can see you can, if it keeps leaking, or you can move rooms. And we were like, move rooms can we just move rooms, please. He, because he, he, jogged, he jogged off to go. I think we may have a room. It's got to be full tonight. Thankfully, they did have another one and they saw it. So can't argue. Can't argue. Right. Now we are actually ending this one, so <laughs> cut to Joe and Andy of the past who've already done the outro so that Joe and Andy now can go and get tea. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye!
thanks for watching our travel day slash trying 30th anniversary snacks and feeling sick slash room tour and then um, we'll see you on next the next time. one and i guess i should do the actual proper outro of it if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you give dislike it, a, it give it a thumbs down it hit does the, the same thing hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and be one of the 63 people <laughs> who now only <laughs> got notified last time 63 63 people i still do get notified <laughs> And it's short, do the YouTube stuff. Do the YouTube stuff. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.